So in this problem, we're told a roller coaster car shown in this figure is pulled up to point one where it is released from rest. Assuming no friction, calculate the speed at points two, three, and four. So basically, we're going to find the speed here, speed here, and speed here. So the things you need to know to solve this problem. So basically, we're going to be using the conservation of energy, which involves two types of energy. First, we have kinetic energy, right? I'm going to label that K. So kinetic energy, you need to know equals one half mv squared. So one half times the mass of the object, right? In this case, we're dealing with a roller coaster car times its velocity squared. And then you also need to know about potential energy. And I'm going to label that, I'll just do P just for potential. So potential energy is equal to MGH. Usually it's labeled with a U, so you can use a U or a P. I'm just using a P for potential. Uh, but yeah, so equals MGH. So it's mass times G, which is just gravity, so 9.8. And then height. So height is relative to a point. In this case, we're going to do it relative to here. So its height would be its distance relative to it. So how do we do it? So you know that the potential energy plus the kinetic energy, right, at one point. So you could just say P initial plus K initial equals P final plus K final. Okay. So essentially, if you, if you want to solve for one of these or one of the variables in it, right, let's say you want to solve for the speed, right, which is what we're doing. So that would be k final. We need all these variables. So let's go ahead and do that for the first one. It's just it'll be easier just to see in an example. So we need to know the initial potential and the initial kinetic. So first thing I know is we're we're releasing it at rest, meaning something's at rest, its velocity is zero. So the initial kinetic energy is zero because velocity is zero, meaning this whole thing would go to zero. So we have zero here. This is for a by the way. Um and I'm just calling a for actually I'll just write point two. Go for two. Um, what's the initial potential energy though? So it's mgh. And so keep in mind when you do this, by the way, I forgot to mention, you're going to have an m in each term. So they're just going to cancel out. So because you have an m, 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 m. So they're just going to cancel. So really you're just dealing with the variables on the side of it. Or in this case, so the one half in the v squared and then the gh. So what's g? g is 9.8. So let me just do it down here. 9.8 times its height. So its height is relative to this point, which we said was 32. So 32 plus once again, K is zero. Now what's the potential energy at the bottom? So keep in mind, I know it's height zero because it's at the bottom. So H would be zero, meaning this whole thing would go to zero. Plus, and then one half V squared, once again, the M is gone. So if you see, we just have V by itself now and we can solve. So let me go ahead and plug it in. 9.8 times 32 times two, and then second square root it. I'm just solving for the V. Yeah, so you're going to get V equals 25.04. Um, we can just write it as 25, so 25 meters per second. So that's going to be the speed at 0.2. Um, so now we know 2. Let me write meters per second here. Okay, good. So now let's find it at 3. So we're going to be doing the same thing, conservation of energy. So I'll write 3 here. Um, once again, doing this. So, But we're going to have more variables just because they don't cancel out as easy. So what's the initial potential? So that's the one that does cancel out. Uh, keep in mind we're at zero. So the initial height is zero. So um, the initial potential energy is zero. Plus one half m, keep in mind the m's cancel, so I'm not gonna write them. And then the initial velocity is the velocity here, right? Because this is the velocity at the point we're starting. Because we're going from here to here, right? Just like we went from here to here, and then we'll go here to here. Keep in mind that's what the initial is. Initial is here to here. So this time we're doing it here to here. So initial we found is at 0.2, which is uh, 25, and I'm going to use the exact value, 25.04. So it's one half mv squared. There we go. And then the final potential and the final kinetic. So let's start with the potential. So e minus m, that cancels g, so 9.8. And then we multiply it by uh, the h. So what is the height? The height is going to be 26 meters, right? Because it's from the bottom. So 26 plus 1 half m, no m because it cancels, and then the v is what we're solving for, so v squared. So um, yeah, so a little bit more variables, but just go ahead and solve. So just solve for the v. So I'm going to do 0 0.5 times 25.04 squared, and then I'm going to minus 9.8 times 26, multiply by 2 to get rid of the half. And so you, you, should know, you should know how to do this basic algebraic manipulation but yeah so you're gonna get v if you solve all this out so 
multiply this out minus this multiply by 2 and then square root to get rid of this you're gonna get V equals 10.8 Three five meters per second. You can just round it to eleven if you want to do whole numbers. So at point three, it's going to be eleven meters per second. Yeah, so eleven meters per second. That's at point three. So last, we do the same thing. Let's go ahead and do four. So once again, pi, ki, all this stuff. This one, none of them are going to cancel. But um, yeah. So what's the initial potential energy? P minus mgh. We don't have the m though, so it's just G times the height. What is our height at the initial point? Well, we start at three and we're going to four. So at three, it's going to be, uh, at three, it's going to be 26. Plus one half mv squared. We don't need the m. So the velocity here is what we just solved for. And so I'm going to use the more exact 10.835 squared equals. And then what's the final potential? mgh, m cancels. So we just have the G, which is 9.8. And then we're going to multiply that by the height. So the height at this point relative to the same point is 14. And then plus one half MV squared, right? No M, so one half V squared. And so, yeah, we just got to solve for V again. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to have 9.8 times 26 plus... 0.5 times 10.835 squared, and then minus 9.8 times 14, multiply by 2, click on square root, click an answer, yeah, so you should get um, about 18.777, it's repeating, so I'm just going to round it to 19, so about 19 meters per second. You can round it however you want. But yeah, so 19 meters per second. That's going to go ahead and be uh, the speed at the third point. So this is at the third point. This is at the second point, And then this is at the first point. So all you did was use kinetic and potential energy to solve this and use this formula. Basically, conservation of mass, the initial, equals the final. Uh, but yeah, so... Uh, these are going to be your answers, so 25, 11, and 19. So, yeah, these are your answers, and hopefully you found this useful.